Something I love about technology is the possibility of creating change and having impact. It tackles ideas that some people might think of as impossible. That to me is really exciting. That's what my drive is, to make technologies that enable people to feel great and to feel empowered. I'm Sammy Payne and I'm the co-founder of Open Bionics. It is a robotics company developing assistive technologies that enhance the human body. Is that you or the robot? That was me. <laughs> and the first technology we've released is the Hero Arm. Right. It's entirely 3D printed, it's lightweight, it's advanced, multi-grip, it's co-designed with users. If you have to wear a piece of technology on your body every single day, you have to be able to love it and it has to reflect who you are and, and represent you. So do you fold your own clothes? Nope, not at all. <laughs> not only does it help me in my day-to-day -day life, but it's also the fact that it's just brought a boost in my confidence a lot. Because when I was younger, I used to have these prosthetics I felt were supposed to be for me, but they made me feel more disabled. As a kid, I grew up thinking yeah, it would never happen in my lifetime to have like something like this I'm wearing right now. So, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. If you can demonstrate how you would go. I really wanted to challenge ourselves around what bionic limbs could be, what they could look like. I didn't want to copy what everyone else was doing. I wanted to do something completely different. Um, and I wanted, more than anything, to give amputees the choice. We asked them what they would want, if they could have anything at all, and not one person asked for a hand that looked like a human hand. Because they often feel like they're being told that they have to try to fit in. The cool thing about it is that because they look like they come from a science fiction world, it gives people a boost. Their limb difference is their superpower. It's a really interesting narrative to offer the ability to see themselves as a bionic superhero. A lot of people ask me why I wear makeup. It's because I like being creative and I like to see what I can do with the hand. I feel like everyone's different in this world and we should embrace that and not try and hide it and blend in, like showing it off because it's something to be proud of. How does your arm work? So it's, it's really great. There's like just muscle sensors here and here. So as soon as you like put my arm in and turn it on, it makes a noise. You squeeze to close and flex to open. Just pass the hand around. <laughs> I'll get the other one. So every bionic hand we make is completely different. They're all unique. Are you making these arms? I am. I got into technology when I was around 15 or 16. Um, really interested in making things. I actually came to the West Media Centre, so I'm from the West. So I wanted to come back, this is my home, and um, show you what I've been up to. North is where I was born and raised. It is a council estate in Bristol. It's a challenging place to grow up and, and live. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's about opportunity, and I think everyone has potential, but some of us are given opportunity, and some of us are denied opportunity. The cool thing about the West Media Centre is that they really push you to achieve your potential. I didn't have any technology training, I wasn't an engineer, but they've enabled me to run a wearable tech project and I got to make my first prototypes. I've got a bit of a punk attitude that sort of, I think you can see runs through Open Bionics as well. So Open Bionics is, is quite punk. It's, it's taking a really expensive, exclusive technology and making it broadly available, trying to democratise something and not play into an old medical industry. It's a huge moment for Open Manix. We're about to grow into a new space, this space. We've just signed up um, over 600 clinics in the United States. And it's so exciting. I think this is 
you can tell by the room, by the space. It's just, it's, 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 it's a blank canvas. It's a new possibility, it's a new future. Of course it scares me, um, but then if I wasn't scared, I think something would be wrong. And if I felt safe, then we probably wouldn't be ambitious enough. Essentially, we're creating an entirely new market. A device like this did not exist before. We're just gonna have to see what happens.